What's going on YouTube? This is Jordan from Dream Big HD and I'm actually back after a long time of being gone so I apologize greatly for that. There's just been so much going on with like AP testing and finals and schoolwork. It's just insane. That and the fact that my phone camera's broken has just been inhibiting my ability to produce content for you so I greatly apologize for that. Um, coming up, we're going to have a flashback of everything that's happened in between me getting accepted to Pace University and right now. So there has been a lot of stuff that's going on, so just stick with me. So this is actually most of an update video for you guys, just keeping you informed on what's been happening between Pace and now. Um, I'm going to run over just a quick few things and pictures are going to be flashing up on the screen for you guys to enjoy. After this video, future videos should just be one-time events, so it's going to be very climactic events in the life of the transition between senior and first-year freshman. Um, I know it's a little bit difficult to explain, but you guys will get the hang of it once we actually get like rolling into this. So thank you. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. I'll very much appreciate it. Comment, do anything you would like. I would greatly appreciate your feedback. And so now we're just gonna we're just gonna run into this. Um, it might be a little bit scrappy, but stick with me here. Enjoy. So the first climactic event I'm going to talk to you guys about was after I got accepted to Pace University. I ended up getting another piece of mail in the mail, and it was an acceptance letter from GCU, which is Grand Canyon University located in Arizona. I live in California. You guys already know that I got accepted to Pace University in New York, and now I got accepted to a school in Arizona. So there was like a three-way conflict going on for a little while. I didn't really know what I was going to do, but um, I actually had my mind pretty set on GCU for a while. So what I did was I actually took a five hour road trip with my mom out to Arizona and don't, if you're gonna take a five hour road trip, one, make sure you're pretty well equipped because we weren't and it was really long. And then two, make it a two day trip because we went there and back in one day. So we were on the road for like 10 to 11 hours. It was pretty horrible. But um, the actual uh, visitation itself to GCU was very great. Um, I got to walk around the campus and experience a little bit of that like pre-college life. Um, everyone was pretty fun there. Uh, they had a lot of uh, very active and very happy students, but the distance and the location was just not for me. I'm a very metropolitan guy. Um, I like New York, I like Los Angeles, um, Miami, etc. Phoenix, it sounds like it's a big city, but honestly it's not that big and it's not that great. So. Um, I wasn't really too stoked after visiting, but it, it honestly, it was a good trip for me because I got to experience what that campus was like in person. And it was my first actual college visit. So that was very fun. Um, yeah, so moving on to the next one. Upward Winter Camp is the next thing on my to-do list that I got done in between the, uh, the previous video on this one. Um, Upward Winter Camp is a thing that my church put on and it was a three or four day winter camp up in Big Bear and we got snow and ice and everything. It was a perfect winter camp, um, very spiritually active. It was a great experience for me. Next up on the list is JSB. For me, JSB is my equivalent to a prom. So at OC, we have, we have JSB and it's not prom because I guess the dancing is less and we have like an official dinner and it's just, it's honestly, it's kind of weird and it's not that great, but um, I'll flash a few pictures up on the screen of me and my friends for you. Um, I was very excited about my outfit. The, uh, the teal and peach thing was uh, kind of a stretch for my personality, but it was, I liked it. It was pretty fun. Um, I honestly had a pretty good time. Not gonna lie, I had a good time there. Uh, other people didn't necessarily. The, the food was really good. The location was excellent. Um, I don't know if I have any pictures of the view, but that's, it was on, it was almost on the ocean. It was pretty cool. It was at the reef in uh, Long Beach. So that was that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed those pictures. The next thing is probably either the second or third most important thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, I actually got accepted to Cal State LA. Cal State LA was my number one choice for schools. And I don't know if I claimed that in the last video, but um, CSULA, is located in far east LA towards La Habra, La Habra, sorry, excuse me. But um, yeah, I uh, got accepted to there and that was very wild and crazy for me because I've been accepted to two schools and it was coming up on May 1st, which is National Decision Day for uh, future college students. You have to decide what school you're going to by May 1st. 
And when I got the acceptance letter for Cal State LA, I was totally psyched out of my mind. I had no clue like how, um, how impactful that moment pretty much was. Um, not too much longer after I got that letter, me and my mom once again drove uh, 40, 45 minutes-ish to LA and we actually visited the college campus and I loved it, everything about it. It was the most wonderful like campus experience I've ever been on. Primarily probably because that was my first choice for a school. I loved it. And we walked around, we went into like a bunch of areas where like there was nobody. We went into the gym where like no one was at. Um, I have a few pictures from that. We visited like the Golden Eagle territory, all these other places that were just really fun and exciting for me to visit. And uh, not too much longer, I came home, sat down at the computer and I sent in my acceptance of acceptance, which means I'm actually going to Cal State LA in the fall of 2016. So I'm super psyched about that. College decision made up, tons of stress gone, tons, because before then, it's like you have your college choice, how you're gonna move, where you're gonna live, what's your job, I mean, not what your job is, but like, how are you gonna commute, etc. I don't have to worry about any of that anymore. I am gonna be living on campus, so there's a plus side to that and a negative. It is gonna be more expensive for me, but in the long run, I think it's a better choice. Um, just because I've, I've lived at my own house for, what, 18 years now? It's about time that I've like become a little bit more independent. I'm a very independent person as well, so that's um, it's just furthering uh, my ability to perform as an adult. So I am moving out, and I will be living there in the fall. Um, I actually sent in a transfer request at my job, so I will be working in Santa Monica, which is like 30 minutes from the school. So um, there's benefit to that too, not too horrible. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's all that I have about the Cal State LA uh, thing. So excited. Um, if you guys really can't tell, I'll put a bunch of exclamation points uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the title and description, but very, very, very excited about that. Next up is a little bit of a fun thing, not necessarily too important, but the air show. Chino has a air show every, every year, okay, and it's called the Plains of Fame Air Show, and I've been to one every year for the past maybe like five or six years, but like we've kind of made it a tradition where um, where we go now and we have other traditions too. Actually, there's one right here. These pictures are from the air show. That big poster is from the air show as well. So um, the bottom one, I actually, this one right there, I actually bought that this year. So um, that's definitely exciting. I have a few videos that I'll pop up on the screen for you. Um, I got to meet one of my inspirational role models, uh, Sean Tucker. Uh, that was very exciting, and then I also got to speak to an F-20 or F-16 pilot, which um, was just phenomenal. It was a very, very, very exciting uh, day for me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it about the air show. Um, it was just very exciting and fun for me because that's always been one of my like joys is uh, airplanes and aeronautics. So um, just a cool thing to know and tell. And lastly, the last thing on the list, it's once again, just not horribly important, but it's gonna be the basis. Once I start doing more like daily stuff, um, it's going to be toward more of the basis of my daily vlogs and it's me being able to hang out with my friends. And as we get closer to summer, I have more of an open schedule and I can start hanging out with my friends more, which means a lot to me because my friends have shaped who I am greatly and being able to just do stuff with them and hang out and, um, I don't really party that much. I don't party at all, actually, but um, just being able to go to events and spend those late nights and just make those memories, it's been a, just a great experience for me. I've met uh, new people in, what, like the past three or four months that have become just my best and closest friends. And my best friend, Cameron, me and him have done loads of stuff together now. And as we get closer to summer, it's just gonna keep stacking, stacking more and more uh, events on top of each other and we're gonna be able to pump out a lot of video content and a lot of enjoyable stuff for you guys. So a quick little thing to look into the future on, we are gonna be posting a few more videos coming up of like very climactic events in my senior year, including like a senior ditch day, maybe senior prank. Um, I'm thinking like a bubble run in, where is that, Fairplex, Pomona. Just a bunch of very fun and exciting activities. I'm gonna have a like a POV of my graduation day. Uh, grad night's gonna be another video. So you guys have a lot of good stuff to look forward to. If you guys are under 
senior year in high school, the, all the viewers who are like juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and lower, any any age that's below a senior, you guys are going to be able to experience firsthand what it's kind of like to be a, a senior. Maybe not to the same aspect, because I do go to a private school and it's a little bit different, but um, you guys will be able to experience some of the stuff that I'm going through firsthand. And then for those of you who've already graduated and you guys are in college and you're in work and whatever else, you guys are going to be able to see the more... Um, like flashback and more uh, relaxed part of what like your life used to be and that's not necessarily a bad thing it's, it's good to look back on that so um, I hope everyone who's viewing this enjoys and they're um, appreciative of the content that uh, I put out um, I will be working very hard to make this a very enjoyable place for you guys to be and I hope to see you guys in the future once again if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel subscribe Keep in contact because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff real quick. It's senior year. You guys are going to be hitching along with me. It should be pretty fun and exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video, which should be coming out pretty soon. Don't mark my words, but it should be coming out pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day. Peace out.